cut this frame right here on both sides. I have a F-150 up here on the frame rack. We have all of the rear suspension and gas tank and everything off of the back section of this frame because this one got hit in the back and it folded up the frame in the back completely destroyed it and it also destroyed the bed assembly so this one's going to be getting a new bed as well but this one's going to get a whole new back half of the frame replaced it actually slides inside of the existing frame right here at this joint slides in a couple inches it also will get these new plates these reinforcement plates welded on after i have the new piece welded in there before i cut this one apart though i'm gonna start by measuring out this frame with our measuring system measuring the front section of the frame because i want to make sure nothing from here forward is shifted i don't think it is but i want to check and then i will proceed with this back section so first i have to match the vehicle to the measuring system so i'm going to go to five points in the center of this frame and that will match the vehicle to the system so then it knows exactly where the truck is sitting and if something is off up here it'll pick it up right away and it'll tell me there's something going on So it looks like everything from here forward measures out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this frame right here on both sides, get this back section out of my way. And then I will trim the rest of these plates off and trim the inside piece out of there on both sides. I'm going to wire this up just so when I finish cutting that it doesn't fall down hard.
I have this frame piece sitting in place, I went ahead and I rematched the measuring system to the vehicle. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some measurements on this frame and see where it's at, see if I need to shift it around or anything. So I have this one measuring out just like it's supposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some tack welds on each side just to lock it in, make sure it's locked in place. Then I'm going to check it one more time before I weld that solid. Now I have some epoxy primer I mixed up. I'm gonna spray on all this bare metal before I finish it out with some black. Now I have some cavity wax here. I'm gonna hose this inside this frame to cover any bare metal that needs coated inside of there. And you can see this sprays in a 360 degree pattern. So it coats everything very nicely. That's a wrap on this one. We're gonna push it on down to the two post lift so our mechanic can button all the suspension back up and he has to put the gas tank back up and our paint department is painting the bed and this one will be done.